you for coming to my channel. You could have been anywhere else, but you're here with me. Back with another breakdown of Insecure Season 4, Episode 7. And this is? This is Low Key Trippin'. Right. Trippin', Low Key Trippin'. Trippin'. Okay, and how does this open up? So it opens up at Mo Molly's at an Ethiopian restaurant, and mm -hmm. she's being typical Molly, indecisive, going back and forth with the uh, server about if she wants something and if she don't want it. She Oh, no, add it back on. Add it all. So the lady is over her, and then <laughs> she sees. So it's funny how, you know, the um, episode six had, had ended where Issa is, pulls up to this restaurant. She sees Molly. Yes. And she makes the decision like, no, nah, I'm, not, I'm not going in there. And uh, dips out. Well, the crazy thing is that Molly actually seen Issa first. Yes. So she actually seen Issa the whole time. So this is, mm. I don't know, this is interesting because Molly, she, once she sees her, she tries to, I guess, prepare, so to speak. Yeah, like she thought like she, she was going to come on in the restaurant. Right, so she kind of like, she acts like she, like she's on her phone, so... When we when Issa sees her and sees mm -hmm. Molly on her phone, she doesn't know that Molly has already seen her. Right. So, I I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> it's just typical what you, what, Molly. What you, yeah, just typical, typical Molly. Molly. Typical Molly behavior. Right. So then she goes home to Andrew, and and Andrew's like, "What's what's going on?" He's on the phone with his brother, getting ready to uh, prepare for their trip that they're about to take. Yeah, they're about to go on a vacation. A vacation, that's mm -hmm. it. And uh, he's like, "What's wrong with you?" Because he can feel her vibe or whatever. And she's like, "I saw Molly. I mean, I'm sorry, I, Molly saw Issa." Right. And uh, he was like, "Oh, well." She was like, "She acted like she didn't even want to say nothing to me. Like she's still putting it off on my own, Issa. Like Issa yeah. should have came in, yes. spoke to her, said I'm sorry, and all this." Right. And she was like, "So are you gonna call her? Are you gonna do anything?" And uh, she's like, "No. She need to call me and yeah, tell me she, she's she, sorry because she was Cause she was in the wrong." In the wrong. Right. 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 So again, Except Molly. <laughs> Molly is looking like everything. Molly being Molly. Right. Like pretty much everything she did is right. Everything. That Issa, Issa does is, is wrong. wrong. Right. Yes. So, yeah. So, so then, I, I guess they're beginning to pack, uh, get you know, get ready for the vacation. And then before that, uh, Molly has a uh, has to go back to work real quick. And so, um, I guess what I think what this scene points out, like she ends up snapping on her uh, her assistant. Yeah. So uh, I think she's still kind of frustrated from the uh, this is after the block party, right. and this is from her point of view. So, right. Yeah. Right. So. Now, normally, yeah, normally she doesn't act like that. No, work. she doesn't really she pop off. I ain't like even that. seen an assistant the whole time, so right. I'm like trying to find out where she came. From. But <laughs> right. it's okay. For, so for her, to, for her to pop off like that, the way she yeah. did, I think again, it's it's unresolved issues with her and Issa. Yeah. So and it's bothering her. Um, right, uh, even th right, even though she she don't really want to admit it. Right. No, she doesn't want to admit it. Right. So um. So it goes from there to uh, Molly and Andrew. They get ready yeah. to get on the plane. Yeah, she's running late because, of course, work and right. traffic. You know how it is when you're trying to go out of town. Everything that could possibly go wrong goes, goes wrong. wrong. Right. So she's trying to hurry up, but she finally makes it to the gate. Right. And then... Um, so they're on, they're on the plane. Um, they're, getting, they're enjoying Economy Plus. Mm -hmm. They're loving that. And then, uh, again, uh, Issa, she definitely um, has one of our... A actor that we haven't seen in a while, and that's uh, Kim Fields. Yes, right. she's on the plane with them, talking right. about she just recently got divorced like three days ago, and mm -hmm. so she's taking it one day at a time. But then she breaks down, and right. it was a little funny right. comic relief part. So uh, Kim Fields, what you know, you know some things that she's been in. Y yes, she's on. Uh, oh gosh, I just said it earlier. I know you did. Uh, what she started in two 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 no, two seven. This episode said two two seven. Not two two seven. I said Facts of Life. Facts of Life. Yeah, but I don't even think I really watched that. But I well, know so something from... you did watch. Can I live Miss, Yes, single. single. Yeah, yeah. In the 90s, 90s kind of world. Yes, I yes. I got yes. I'm glad I got my girl. Keep your head up. Keep your head up. That's right. right. Okay. Yeah, that, 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 that. I know her from there, but I don't know her from. Right. I don't think I watched Facts of Life. I'm not that old, y'all. Right. Anywho. <laughs> So, uh, so basically, they get off the plane. You know, uh, they pull up to this beautiful, luxurious hotel. Oh, Mexico! You know. It just made me think we're gonna do an all inclusive, <laughs> prob hopefully next year. Okay? All right. <laughs> yes, want to so, do that. So it's uh, definitely a beautiful view. Um, they're talking to Andrew's family, so it's the first time that they got a chance to meet his brother and her, his, his girlfriend. Wife. 
His girlfriend or I wife? I thought they were married. No, no. His, his I don't know. Significant other. Significant <laughs> other, yes. Right, so you know, things seem things seem to be going well. Um, I guess his brother has planned this whole trip out. So yeah. she was talking about how she went to work, but she wanted to kind of chill the first day and then get into what his brother. So she's trying to balance two meeting his family right. and not... Um, not irritating or trying to be picky or right. nitty. Quote, unquote. molly <laughs> Typical Molly. <laughs> Typical Molly's right. on this trip. So, yeah, just so just like you said, his brother has this long plan, agenda, agenda of what he was going to mm-hmm. do. But instead of, uh, instead of uh, <laughs> attending to the agenda, they decide to... Uh, Get get on with the get on. Get on with the get on. So <laughs> so they had been talking about like what they were gonna bring. She was like no pants for the whole trip. Right. So I guess they're she trying has some to surprises. learn. Yes, yeah. yeah. He has some surprises too. So I think they're both trying to figure out. Um, they're having adult consensual conversations. <laughs> right. Adult consensual conversations. Yes. Which we all should be happy. Yes, we should all be having those. Yes, we should. <laughs> Uh, so uh, they basically get it in that night. So they they're not just studying Andrew's they brother didn't go, and everything. He he yeah. he has planned. It's out the window. All right. <laughs> so but they do meet up in, uh, with them in the next morning. They're basically gonna go on a hike. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, Kim Fields pops back up again. Right, right. She's like, "Hey y'all, one day at a time. I'm getting my run on, trying right. to get my mind off of, uh, her, ex. her ex. Yeah, because yeah. her character is getting over her ex. Yeah, or whatever. So so that's a good thing with her. So, again, Molly, you can tell she's trying to be the team player, so mm-hmm. to speak. You know, she doesn't want to be, I guess, a party pooper. So, she wants to, you know, everything that they're experiencing, um, you know, she wants to act like she's enjoying it. And yeah. they're about to go on this, this three-mile hike, hike or, up or this whatever, hill. Which you, you about fainted when you see yeah. it because Ooh. she don't like to exercise. No, and then they were running the hike. They, they didn't <laughs> hike. They ran. So up the incline. So, I don't like that. Right, you you're not you're not about that life. No, and they didn't like it. Well, I think they liked it, but they weren't as in shape as the brother and the uh, significant other because they beat them, of course, to the top of right. the thing. And right. then they ended up zip lining, and they well, they did a lot of activities that day. They right. zip line. Mm-hmm. They went to this little cabana party yeah. thing. Yeah, uh, so they had, they had a they had, they had a day full of stuff. Field. They even yeah. talk about it later. She was like she kissed a manatee. I think. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, yeah so, so they did a whole lot of stuff. That's right. Fun so stuff. so the thing so the thing is to uh, I guess an observation is Molly is definitely happy. You know, she, yeah. she you can tell she, she is enjoying this. Andrew. This is probably something that mm-hmm. she's been wanting to do you know mm-hmm. she's been wanting to take vacation she's been wanting to you know just experience l- different things with her no, significant yeah, other right you know yeah. wanting to learn them and them learn her yeah, or whatever yeah. so this is so this is nice this is nice for uh molly uh a nice thing to see for molly because uh again like i think this is something that she's been wanting you mm-hmm. know the entire you know inception of <laughs> of of insecure since yeah. season one yeah. so, it's, so it's nice to see that again right right and um Again, they uh, speaking of Molly being happy, she ends up being happy again because she gets her and Andrew get it on again. Yeah, and in between uh, time in the meantime, while they're chilling at the meantime. hotel, meantime. Uh, uh, Nathan calls. My, sorry, I, oh sorry, you was the groove. You, 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 you go in the groove, in. Go in the groove, in. No, no. Anyway, go ahead. Nathan <laughs> calls um, to talk to Andrew right, right, on right. Facetime, yes. and so she hears Issa in the background, mm-hmm. and that brings up those bad vibes again right, or whatever right. so she's like huh Issa's back to Issa you know she's trying to be with Nathan I guess they yeah. together now and he's yes. like no they just chilling yes, and she, um, she throws throws those shots yeah and yes, then she. Josh always talks about how Issa uh, bring she brings up things in the black community that we really don't talk about mm, so she right. um point, he point. talks to her about how Nathan she was like Nathan just abandoned her and didn't and say a word said, and, and this well, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Oh, but go yeah. ahead, go um, ahead. No, I was just gonna say this, this is an interesting. It points out an interesting thing before you, before you get to what he was about to say. Is she said he already showed her who he is. Yes. So I think it brings up an interesting point is is being able to forgive and forget. Like mm-hmm. when when do you do that? Because mm-hmm. you know you look all on social media and stuff like that. People always be like believe somebody when they show you who you are. In the same token, I guess what Andrew was trying to tell Molly. Was well, he was going through. He yeah, was going, he was through, going some through some things, things right? and it was yeah. and it was really really rough. Yeah, you know? 
And so, you know, you notice her, her tone, her tone changed, changed. When, yeah. he, when, he, when he told her. So, yeah. I guess the thing is, sometimes when... You don't know what a person is right, going through internally. Through and right. then when you're, like, trying to when you're trying to get to know somebody, mm -hmm. those things don't come out automatically. They right. come out over time. So. Right. So, when... Yeah. So, just, just that balance, you yeah. know, because... In today's time, they act like you know. Cut off is <laughs> cut off you know, game is hard. <laughs> right, it's legit. Right. Yes. <laughs> so, so I, I think I think that that that's just an interesting thing to think about. Right, right, right. So yeah, so dealing with mental health, um, I think that was important as you said earlier about um, Issa being able to you know bring that out, especially when it comes to black people, because that's how mm -hmm. that is something that especially a black male they right. really don't talk about right. mental health right at all. So. Um, that was good that they brought that to the light and he told um, Molly you know that Nathan was dealing with some mental health issues when he goes to her it wasn't like he just did it just for kicks and giggles right so um so speaking of kicks and giggles it yes. looks like they're having some kicks and giggles at the yes, pool yeah they're, they're enjoying themselves mm -hmm. and then uh, people some people being rude that's one thing first yeah. off just to point out I don't even really like water like that mm -hmm. like when it comes to swimming pools and stuff you know because I can't swim but uh, I definitely can't stand when people be swimming and flipping water all over the place and it's getting in your eyes and stuff. So that's what happens to uh, Andrew's brother's wife. We're just going to call his wife yeah, for now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so Molly goes to get a towel. She's like, oh, you such a... Oh, she really loves Molly, too. Right, She's she like, does. oh, you are so sweet. You're going to go get me a towel? You're a saint. Right, so she goes to go get the towel and... Who the lady asked for the room key. Now keep in mind she just got literally got out the pool. They she don't did. have those things like they have at the theme park that go around your arm with the room key mm -hmm. attached. She's in a whole in a resort. Right. So she's like, I don't have my room key, but you literally saw me get out the pool and she's right. like, But I still need your room key to verify. Right. And she's like, Oh, okay, so these Caucasians walked up, you didn't ask them for a room key at mm -hmm. all. I don't mm -hmm. understand why you need my room key. So then it, her brother comes in right. and, and bails her out pretty much, you know. Yeah, the and she gets and uh so she gets the towel, she pretty much snatches snatches the towel yeah. or what have you. And this brings up an interesting conversation between It does. Andrew's brother and Molly. And Molly. Right. Yes. So uh Molly, you know, obviously Andrew can see, you know, you know, Molly's bothered, so he's asking her about what's going on. She's just like, you know, just a little racist situation, not nothing nothing big, but she you know, you can tell she's bothered by it. So then her Just brother... like the typical stuff, because we always go through that kind yes, of stuff. Yes, we do. So, so um, now her brother's pretty much asking questions. You know, I guess he wants to play devil's advocate. He uses it as a... Um, I guess that's his way of allow, allowing him to maybe tackle things that are... Maybe to say things that you normally wouldn't say. Because he did that earlier yes, in the did. episode where... Mm -hmm. Basically, you, you could tell that Molly and Andrew, but they were about, they were pooped and they was mm -hmm. ready to chill. But he wanted to kick it, you know. He wanted to do this, he wanted to do that. So he's like, "Devil's Advocate, when you gonna, when you gonna come down here and enjoy yourself?" So he pretty much does the same thing again. Says Devil's Advocate, you know, what if she wasn't being racist or whatever? And it seemed like, you know, based on the way he was talking, his mannerism, his body language, mm -hmm. it seemed like he was coming from a from a strictly inquisitive point of view yeah. like he wasn't trying to pick he was just trying to almost understand just trying, the situation right, and just trying to her learn. point of view yeah right and the, and I, for the people that may watch this review that uh doesn't watch insecure mm -hmm. um they're of asian descent i believe mm -hmm. and uh, you know she's black so uh, him and i were talking about how we don't really have a lot of discussions with multicultural people about how they experience racism or how they deal with right. it. And so he was telling her to kind of deal with it in a different manner. Like, okay, she might have been racist or whatever, but it's the way you react to how mm -hmm. she is. Don't give it power and all this stuff. Right. So, uh, but we've been so oppressed for so long, it's hard for us not to, I feel like. Right, but another so, thing is, um, when, you're, when you're a black woman, it's different. So, yeah. so when you're dealing with so much all the time, it's hard to, you know, to hold back, mm -hmm. you know, like, and, uh, yes. again, I'm not Asian, so I don't know the, the, the racism that they might experience, but I, I, I feel like black people wear on the bottom of the totem pole when it comes to racism and we catch the, the blunt of everything. Yeah. And I will like, say, I feel like we catch the, I believe we catch racism from all angles from everyone. Yeah. You know? And I will say it was a turn in the United States where, uh, Hispanics were catching all the heat too. Um, and for a split second, we might not have been at the bottom, but right, right. but yeah, we're definitely at that now. Right. Oh my gosh. 
Right. A lot so, going on. So they're they're going they're they're pretty much going back and forth, and you can tell Molly is beginning to get Being more frustrated. agitated and mm-hmm. agitated. And again, some of that could be from. You Still know, dealing with the Molly de- thing. Dealing with e- the Issa, Issa situation. Thing. Well, I keep on calling her. I, I, I don't know, but uh, they, <sighs> dealing, dealing, you know, dealing with that or whatever. Yes. So she's, you know, she's, she's, she's frustrated, and it continues to build and build and build. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> then she says something that I guess, if I'm, for being honest, and we're trying to call a spade a spade, can be interpreted as uh-huh. being racist as or well. Stereoty- because, she's stereotyping, basically. Well, not stereo. I wouldn't say oh. stereotyping, but I'm talking about as far as like her brother Andrew and his brother. They they start they arguing and in then they start their speaking, language. start speaking their language, and then she says, "Hello, uh, hello," you know, saying, "Let's speak English here." I'm still right here. And then you know, the, and then the girlfriend, you can see <laughs> she's, she's like, like, "Oh, oh no. no," which is basically like that's 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 that slick racism yeah. stuff. When people when people say, you know, well, you need to speak English or that, oh, you in our country mm-hmm. type stuff. That's a that's a racist tactic a lot of times. Mm-hmm. So, but again, Molly, I think she's being angry, so she's just whatever's coming out of her mouth. But mm-hmm. again, recalling a spade to spade, that's not something you say because anyway, no. if if you're around people that speak a second language, you know they, that it comes out, especially when they're upset or they get frustrated. Then they, or just they, in, even when they it, you know just you know the, shooting yeah. shooting the, you yeah know, they, yeah they, they, they be talking and yeah. they go they go in and in out, and out. yeah yeah so for that's, her that's what dual language learners do right so, so for her to try to use that or say that it was you know you you kind of when she said that you kind of be like ah mm-hmm. we was on your yeah. side molly but then you go there like yeah. come on but it's, it's just the lack of knowledge too because i don't think she's ever dated anybody outside of her race either mm-hmm. Good point. so it's just Good point. she needs to do a little research on cultures right. and different right. so, differences. So it continues to spiral yeah. out of control. And she basically tells, you know what I'm saying? She, she pretty much says F him, you yes. know what I'm saying? And, and, and dip, she's like, I'm done for the day. So right. that's the end of that. And they right. go and dips out, the, you know, so it's, there so, was no fun times that night. Right. Mm-hmm. And that night you could tell, and it's kind of awkward, you know, mm-hmm. almost like when you're in an argument or you experience something like they're both in a bed. And I think at one point, you know, they're, they're both up. But they're kind of, you can see the the barrier between them two mm-hmm. that they has caused. But, yeah. Uh, so the next morning, you know, <clears throat> Andrew is, um he kind of just he lets her sleep, out, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So they've probably been doing everything together this whole entire trip. Yeah. This, you know what I'm saying, when he wakes up this morning, he kind of lets her sleep. He goes to do his own thing and talk to his brother. Yeah. So, again. And he did bring her some breakfast. That was sweet. Brought a little smoothie. In. Right. And it's like, you know, I'm fine. I don't let stuff fester, which is something she does. So right. it's also showing their differences and opposites attract, too, because right. he's like, I don't let stuff fester. I, I talk about it right then and there and get it out the way. So he's right. like, me and my brother, we're cool. We, you know, we go back and forth. That's just us, you know. Right. That's a sibling thing. Right. So, so. yeah, so, um, so at, again, I guess to, to give Molly props, she actually is concerned about messing things up. She was yeah. like, "I hope I didn't mess things up." You know, I hope, I hope the trip hope, is not all right. I hope it's all now. It. Can, everything's now canceled now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because because of my reaction. So again, it's it's um, showing that she's maturing actually having and maturing trying. and having growth and mm-hmm. speaking of her having growth. We forgot to mention that at one point she does kind of uh, I think after the argument yeah. she kind of dips off and uh, call uh, yeah that's the next book. day that's after the next this. day okay yeah. okay yeah, cool, yeah. Cool, we're cool, on cool. the right, so, right track yeah, so she ends up so she goes to the beach and kind of just is out there by herself mm-hmm. with her thoughts right and she calls her a uh, doctor just her psychologist mm-hmm. and um, schedules an appointment she's like I'm having trouble letting things go lately mm-hmm. I need to come in and have a session with you which right. is really great. We all should do that and take mental health days. Right. Mental health is very important, especially when with COVID and all the stuff going on, that is very important that mm. we take care of our mental health. Right. Or just having somebody to talk to, yes. basically. Yes, talking, talk to, uh, meditating, doing yoga, exercising, whatever that means for you. Exactly. Yeah. So it's good that Molly takes the time to do that. Um, so basically, they head back to the states, and yeah. um, they on they the airport. They're in the airport, yeah. Yeah, and, <laughs> and uh, guess who they see? Who they, <laughs> they see Lawrence. Right, Lawrence. They see Sweet good old Lawrence. Lawrence. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. Where has he been? We right, see him since like episode four. Right, like, right, because he so, didn't go to the block party. Right. So, yeah. so um, they see him, and they have this little awkward like, oh, hey, 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 uh, yeah. hey how you doing? Oh, yeah. No, yeah. Right, I don't know yeah. what to do. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> So they, they talked for a little bit and uh you know, like I say, it was a little awkward. I mean after that, you know, you know, they, they dip on out. But mm-hmm. 
uh, it stays with Lawrence the whole time, and then we see Lawrence, and he gets on the phone, and uh, what is he? He calls somebody. He says, "Hey, how you doing? Uh, want to care to grab drinks or anything? You yeah. got time to grab drinks?" Right. He basically, so he basically, like, who are he talking? He to? basically makes plans. So, and that's pretty to? much where the episode ends. And you know, he broke up with Condola. So I don't know if it's Condola. No, well, the, I don't know the, if it's the, Issa. The, I don't know. I don't yeah, know. we know that. Remember that was at uh, the episode after the block party when she when the baby and there was. A... No, that's I don't I don't know I don't I don't know I don't know if we know that. I don't I don't think so. I think they broke up because we didn't see. She told us that at the block party. She said that I thought Lawrence told you we. Broke oh, up. okay. But well, here's the thing, though. All messed right, up. but yes. but Lawrence, but we don't know. That's my Condola thing. We don't know. Said they Condola broke up. said that, but we don't but know. He we might don't. be trying to get back. Right. So don't, we don't that's know. what I'm saying. I don't right. know who he talking to. Right. He could be talking to Condola. He could be talking to a new chick. We don't know what Lawrence right. got so going on. Inter- we trying to figure out. So it'll be interesting to see who Lawrence was talking that's to. That's it. That's it. So if y'all want to go ahead and do us a favor, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. We definitely appreciate that. And if you're not already, definitely hit that subscribe button. You know, definitely uh, keep up with different videos that we come out with. Yes. And uh, if you want to do us a favor and go ahead and comment, um, what should they comment? I think they should comment, um, what is your fantasy trip? Where, hmm. where would you like to go on an all-inclusive? Okay. That'd be good. Sounds Give me good. some ideas for next year. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. All right. We appreciate y'all coming out. And we'll holler at you. Peace. Peace.